Ash here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm starting the video right now. Don't worry about it. No, I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell him all the differences. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, I'll let him know what it's like. Okay. All right, for sure. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Let's talk about what we got here. I want us to have a little bit of a conversation about the differences between this phone, as you saw, the Samsung Z Flip 5 versus the Motorola 40 Ultra Razer Plus, what have you, you know, so many names for that one phone. What I do know is that I have a clear winner in my mind of which one of these two is the better device, hands down. I've had both and I only have one currently. And as you saw, it is the Samsung Z Flip 5. I got rid of the other one. So here we are, guys. Let's talk about it. First of all, I got the Viva Magenta because T-Mobile had a great trade-in deal going on. You could trade in uh, Samsung S20 FE and get the full price of the Moto cover. I just purchased one off eBay, traded it in, got the whole thing covered. I'm glad I experienced it. It's a great looking phone. Beautiful device. Color was gorgeous. Looked great. I loved it. I got to be honest with you a little bit. I bought an array of cases for it. None of them really look that great on the Viva Magenta phone because you can still see the hinge, you know what I mean? And that Viva Magenta hinge clashing with the other colors that I had for the front and back panels of the device, it just never really looked good when it was folded completely. And I don't want to use my phone bareback because it's fragile, you know what I mean? It's You don't want to drop it, then you're out a thousand bucks, that's it. I ended up going with a clear case. But I kind of don't like those very much. They get kind of grimy and dirty after a little while. All of this is moot because it doesn't matter. I got rid of the phone. Let me be honest with you 100%. You're lying to yourself if you think it's better than the Z Flip 5. You haven't experienced the Z Flip 5 yet. The biggest problem I have, guys, the software on the Moto. A lot of you like it. I don't. I'm not a fan. I literally had to go get Nova Launcher to tweak things the way that I like them to use the phone at its optimal settings. I can't deal with only having two or three options to change this or change that. And I can only do the absolute minimum on it. I can't deal with it. Samsung's UI is so much better. Leaps and bounds, guys. Hands down, so much better. So many options. And people are saying, oh, you can't use the full cover display. You 100% can, guys. It's called Good Lock. Let me tell you right now. All right. This is the Good Lock app. It's opened up. It's ready to go. We go to life up down here, life up up here. We've got multi-star. I heart galaxy foldables at the top launcher widget right there. And boom, we've got it right there. Go ahead and put whatever you want on that cover display. Game changer. Something I really, really love about this phone versus a moto, the build quality, other than the UI, the build quality guys. I really didn't have fun flipping open the device on the Moto whatsoever. It wasn't an enjoyable experience for me. The hinge kind of creaks. It's very, very stiff. Twofold guys. It's very stiff. So you think, okay, it's durable and strong. That's the problem is that it's very stiff, but it's also very delicate at the same time. It feels cheap. I hate to use that word, but it's kind of, it feels cheap guys. Honestly, the vegan leather back, great felt great the phone felt great looked great everything great but it's a hinge guys if you think about it that's the crux of the phone okay that's the center point of the phone holding these two halves together and if that kind of sucks you're gonna get a shitty device and that's what we get with the moto we don't get that with this guy and that sound you just i'm done with you that's all there is to it. I'm done with you. That's what that sound means. You're dead to me. That's what that means. When you flip it like that, you're dead to me. You can't do that kind of action with the Moto. That baby would just fall apart instantly. So we discussed UI. We discussed build quality. What's the other major difference here, guys? The major difference is that screen. That screen is the major difference. And the experience of using that screen. And I have to tell you, the experience, hands down, is more enjoyable on the Z Flip 5. You have so many more options and fully baked widgets, guys. Okay, let me explain it to you this way. My calendar on, on the Moto, I couldn't get my tasks. I couldn't really see what's going on with the calendar. I get it all on my Z Flip 5. I can see all my tasks. I can see all of my events, all my dates. Everything is set beautifully. It's great. I couldn't really get that same usability out of the Moto. Your experience might be different as far as just using 
Google Calendar and having it sync perfectly wasn't happening for me with the Moto. It happened without a second thought on the Z Flip 5. And that's kind of the point of these devices, guys, isn't it? Really, it's just quality of life improvements and making things easier and more hassle-free for you. And that's really what you're looking for. Nothing that's going to make your life more difficult. Like I mentioned before, the UI, I had to end up getting Nova Launcher. I paid for Prime or Premium or whatever it is with the Nova Launcher so I could customize. I had to go through and adjust everything I had. I had a Samsung S22 Ultra before this and everything transferred over my apps, right? But not my layout, not all this. And yeah, okay, it makes more sense going from Samsung to Samsung because you can do that. It does the whole layout, does your wallpaper, does everything you need it to. It's the same UI, it's the same everything. And if you're going to do something like that, I highly recommend Samsung or Samsung because it makes sense. It's within the ecosystem. But if you're trying something new like the Moto, like I was doing, you have to build it up from the ground up. And when you don't have the options that you want in the UI, then it makes it a really terrible experience. And some of you guys like that experience where, you know, less is more kind of a thing. But for me, it was less is less, honestly. If anything, if to say less is more is that less options meant more work to create the setup that I want. And I'm not nitpicky. I'm not anything like that. I just have a couple things that I, I have on my phone that I like to do, a couple folders, background or two maybe, and that's it. And I couldn't achieve that with the Moto. I could with the Z Flip. The interesting thing here too is you might think that you're stuck with just the Samsung icons, themes that they have, but no. That good lock app, guys, that I showed you guys earlier is a game changer because there's another function in there where you can go ahead and customize different icon packs that you purchase from the Play Store, for example. You can use those to change the icons on your phone. All these things I didn't actually know existed until I delved deeper into it. It's highly, highly customizable. If you're into something like that, if you're into customizing your phone or just having the option to be able to do something like that, this is the way to go. This device is a lot of fun, guys. You feel like it's a complete product. It's fully baked. Motorola, I kind of felt like it was half baked. The hinge was experimental to me. It wasn't fully developed. I didn't enjoy opening it. I couldn't open it one-handed the way I can here. Couldn't do that, those statements. Couldn't make them with the Motorola. 100% you can make them with this bad boy right here. It's just a more enjoyable, and well thought out product. And that's really what I like about it, guys. If you guys have one or the other, or just in general, you have some thoughts about it, I wanna know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let me know, guys. As you may have seen, I don't have very many subscribers. So if you wanna holler at your boy, hit him up, do your thing. If you don't, don't. It's not a big deal to me. I'm just out here doing my thing, you do your thing. But I would like us to have a little bit of a dialogue. I wanna know what you guys think, comment, and I don't really care about the numbers and the YouTube algorithms or whatever. I'm just doing this because I want to know what you guys think, to be honest with you. I want to know your comments. I want to see what you guys say in relation to the way I think. You know, that's the whole point for me. I'd like to get a dialogue going with you guys. Go ahead and comment and let me know what you guys think. This phone versus that phone. If you have any questions, if I can answer. I'm not some tech guru either, guys. You know, I'm just a dude who has an opinion about one phone versus the other. <laughs> That's all there is to it. You know, I'm not MKBHD who's out here hanging out with Google doing crazy 3D Zoom calls and stuff, you know, seeing the forefront of technology. I'm just a guy who gets a new phone every couple of years, <laughs> happened to get this one, happened to get that one, returned that one, and kept this one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you're one of those dudes, holler at your boy. We'll have a discussion. We'll see which one's a better idea for you to keep as a device. Okay, so let me know, gentlemen, ladies. Holla at your boy. Let's have a conversation. Thanks for watching. Cordon Ash. Stay gold.